What's up guys, it's Cam Ross here, East Island Aquatics. I'm at the Aquatic Experience in Chicago, Illinois. I'm here with my boy Fort Wayne Fish Tanks, rocking his Dustin's Fish Tanks. Tank on. Tank on. Right here. Uh, we are at the Aquatic Experience, hanging out with YouTubers like Brenna, Joey from King of DIY, Dustin, Dustin's Fish Tanks, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, Rachel O'Leary, everybody. We are here with the whole crew. And this is the Fluval Aquascaping Contest, and we're gonna kind of dive in here and give you guys a look of the different tanks they got. And there's a lot of people we will try and weave our way through, you know how it is. So let's head on in. So we're just gonna kind of pan around the tanks and maybe comment. Uh, we get to vote on which tank we like. Our favorite one's towards the end, but these are all really good. Those, what are those? Hybrid Endler? Like tiger. tiger Endler? Maybe, maybe a like hybrid? There's also a shrimp contest, like an international shrimp USA contest here as well. That so there's shrimp all over in these tanks as well. So each of them got this nice little setup, like a fluval planted uh, rimless cube setup. We'll go around here. And then they got to aquascape it however they wanted. Some of them are quite simple and some of them are super complex and awesome looking. We'll go back to this one that we skipped. This one's really cool, rocking that tree, tree setup. I love those. And then you got the different color substrate. I think that's really cool when they do that. We got to see him setting them up earlier, and that was really neat. I always love the tanks where they're sticking out the wood. This one's pretty cool. They threw a bunch of Indian almond leaves in there. It looks quite natural. Got just a bunch of them in there. Um, one thing I did notice, some of the aquascapers took into account where their fish would be and they tried to make them head towards the front. Rachel O'Leary really worked on that by changing the flow of her tank. Um, we'll get to that later. But then some people, they're kind of hiding out back. This looks like that famous Amano picture everybody likes, except it's on a smaller scale. Really neat, rocking that tree set up. Then we got the mighty Pokemon. Looks like someone stole the Pikachu up top. There were two Pikachus in here. But the other one's gone. Really nice setup. These are amazing looking things. What do you think, Fort Wayne? That one's really good. It's got the slope down there of the path of sand. All of the rooted woods coming out with the rocks combined with the red contrast on the side. It's looking cool. Yeah. This one's pretty nice. I really like when they mix the different substrate colors. Or like chain. They have that nice contrast with the dark green and then the white, the whitish brown sand. That loud speaker noise you hear in the background is some sea lion show or something like that. This one's nice, got some good looking guppies and snake skins and stuff. Um, got lots of different colors. This one's pretty cool. They incorporated blowfish in a plant in the aquarium, which is something you don't see a lot, and I think it looks pretty good. And we'll save our favorite for last right here. This one's got the red with the black. I really like the contrast. Bright neon colors mixed with that black soil makes it look really nice. And they've also dimmed the colors a little bit of the light so that you can really get that contrast in there. Here we go. Nice foreground plant here. I love that stuff. That was the stuff used on the tree earlier. Um, it's really nice how they use those stones to hold it up. Really thick substrate. It's also coming out the top. We got rocking the CPDs right here, one of my favorite fish. I was gonna buy some here, but then 
Uh, one guy told me he'd sell them to me, and then I came up, and then they apparently are only selling on Sunday, and I'm not going to be here Sunday. So that was kind of crazy and kind of annoying. But I was about to get myself some CPDs. Uh, too bad. But this tank's really nice. Then we got this one. This one's really cool, looking natural. We got that raised side. I really like that. I tried that with my spec. It raised, and then the the main attraction is that back part that's a little lower. And we got over here is a really natural display with really intense foreground action here. We got that Rotala kicking up in the back, just looking absolutely awesome. So yeah, someone's at the our favorite tank. We're, we're panning across. I'll show you. So this is our favorite tank right here. It's got that Rocky Mountain sides. This is Fort Wayne's Fish Tanks and my favorite one. You look right in, it looks like you're looking on forever. You can't tell where the end is. There's only one problem I have with this, and it, that's that there's a little hole in the back which all the fish like to hide out, hide out in, so it's hard to actually get to see some action in the front. But other than that, it's a really amazing scape with a lot of depth and great action on the sides. What this person did is he added a high light in the background, kind of flipped it up with a white background here to give you some intense action in the back to show that it's almost never ending. So yeah, that's what we got for the nano area and then we're going to be heading on in the next clip to the big tanks. Thanks for watching guys. What's up guys, I'm back and this is the big aquascaping contest, the AGA Aquatic Gardeners Association contest. We just came back from the Nanoscape and these are the big kahunas. These are the ones that give you the master prizes and this is where true talent comes in. I know Nanoscapes are also very popular but this is, this is right up my alley right here. Now right here we have a quite, a quite simple scape. We got to talk with this guy for a while. He sells, he sells plants too. He was right across from dust. Dustin's booth. Now this guy, a lot of thought came into creating that soccer scape. He wanted to be simple yet complex at the same time. So he added that slope in, but he really didn't want to add too many plants with the rock because he didn't want to take away from that simplicity. We also asked him why he did not add fish in and he thought it would kind of make it, make the scale off a little bit since he wants it to seem like distant and gigantic. If you put in fish, it would kind of change that a little bit. Right here is my favorite one in this area. You get that amazing perception, especially from the side view. Kind of like that other one we saw with the valley. I feel like when they do that valley, you get this perception like it's never ending. You get this awesome setup here. You got these odd looking barbs here. Sorry, got the intercom. The Aquascaping Live Contest Awards will begin in 15 minutes. That is located towards the back of the show floor. Sorry guys, intercom system. They're just announcing the awards are going to be announced soon. It looks like the voting's done here. But I love this slate action they got down here. Just rubble throughout, showing that like erosion and stuff's been falling down. It almost looks like it's not even supposed to, supposed to be like aquatic. It looks like an amazing scape that you find out like hanging out in like the Rocky Mountains or something. I don't know. Good stuff. Moving on here, we got some taking pictures, so I'm going to be off to the side. But we got this awesome driftwood to the left and then a great jungle mass in the right. I love when they have the plants hanging outside the tank. And we're going to go right back here to this tank. Yeah, this is like a jungle tank. It's got a lot of Anubias cover up there, various sizes. Not too much red contrast, but it has all in the background. It's coming out of the tank. It has a lot of dimension right up in your face. Dark substrate. I'm not even sure if there's fish in here. I don't think there is. I don't think so either. But it's got good cover. Rock tapes on the bottom. Yeah, it's almost looks like it's good that wood back there. Like it just steam together. Honestly, I un yeah, I understand why they didn't put fish in here. You wouldn't really be able to see it, and they might lose points at that. There's some fish you could throw out here, and you'd really be able to see. I would recommend some red fish, maybe rummy nose tetras. Those look amazing in this tank because you don't have much red contrast. So they look great. Yeah, overall an awesome setup. Right here we got Rachel O'Leary's tank. You know she's gonna be rocking those nanos. It's right here. Oh yeah, all over. 
you got the great setup. You get that feel as though it's just gradually shifting up. It's got that movement. Yeah, you got the croaking garamis in here. She's telling us all about it. You got the fancy shrimp. They're gonna kiss over there. Oh, no. Then we got these awesome little micro reservoir thingies. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, great stuff. Awesome skate overall. Just amazing. Moving on, moving right along, we got a similar setup to what we had over there. We got that valley formation. And what are those, gold tetras? Yeah, gold tetras. We got gold tetras chilling right over here. Got some fish, loaches, all swimming around. Overall, an amazing setup to do a side. Great side setup here. A lot of cover on the rock. Oh, yeah. Great natural setup here. So yeah, one more view. You got that awesome school. Now moving on here, you got that uh, excellent foreground in the in the front. That giant school of uh, what looks to be some kind of tetra. almost like a Pristella tetra, except they don't have those tipped fins. I couldn't say that they are. I, I want to say silver tip, but I don't know if that's almost like right. silver tip. Maybe, yeah, I'm not exactly maybe sure. They are silver tip. I'm not yeah, sure. something in that nature. Probably silver tip. Looks like a silver tip Pristella. And they've got silk in here. All those good red plants back there. I used to know what they're called, but no idea anymore. I love the red in the back. I yeah, I kind of tell you. There's a lot of stuff here. I have no idea what's going on. It's crazy. We got actually some giant looking shrimp down here. You see them. See them just chilling in the back. They're actually a pretty big size. There's one. Yeah, just hanging out. All around good stuff. Right here we got another one of those that messes with your depth perception. This just shows how great of a scale you can set up with an aquarium. Aquascaping is just awesome. I love how this big rock towers over that other one and gives the appearance like it's a camera. Then from there, it just kind of goes into a little valley. Small rock and grass. Yep. So, yeah, that's the Fluval AGA uh, Aquascaping Contest. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see you guys. Enjoy any videos. Uh, check out Joey. I know he's going to be having some awesome videos for this. Yeah, King of DIY. He's going to have some awesome videos from the aquatic experience. Sadly, this is all I could film because there's just too much here. I figured I'd just give you the best part and let you guys check out other channels for the rest. So, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, wait, looks like the tank just opened up. Let me, let me do here. This is an awesome tank. The reason I didn't video it before I said the intro. Your yeah, tank? great. This is well, awesome. You did a great job, man. Yeah, the designer's right next to us. But, yeah, this is just an awesome scaled tank. I love how they have the two giant boulders with that crack in the middle. Like I said in the past, when you add those cracks in in the valleys, almost like a canyon feel, you get that awesome depth perception. They got the great reds and greens, making an awesome contrast with the white soil. Zoom in there. It's got those great black neon looking tetras. Awesome. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.